fiery horse by the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> The pioneers who first settled in the western United States had to fight Indians and outlaws. And though the odds were heavy against them, there was one man to whom they could turn for help. That was the masked rider of the plains. It was he who brought law and order to the frontier and made peace and security possible for the honest ranchers and their families. Now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the Barnes Ranch! Someone's waiting on the trail ahead! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! As our story opens, Joe Barnes, who had been a guest at his brother's home for supper, picked up his hat and prepared to leave the ranch house for his cafe in town. <laughs> Pete, you're the luckiest fella I know of. You got a wife that can outcook anybody I ever heard tell of, and a young'un that's grown so fast to be a top end before you know it. <laughs> I reckon it ain't everybody that's been as lucky as me. I ain't complaining, am I, Molly? <laughs> you just better not. Well, I'll be running along now. Sorry I can't stay and spend the evening with you. You're welcome anytime, Joe. We ain't seen much of you lately. <laughs> Shucks, I reckon you know how run the cafe keeps a fella busy. Yep, I suppose. <laughs> Doggone horse. He's seen me, so he's anxious to get started for home and oats. Well, good night, all. Good night, Joe. Come through again. Good night, Uncle Joe. Good night, Davy. Steady there, blast you. Maybe you folks can come to town and visit me sometime. We'll see about it. Get up there. Get up there. And again, maybe it'll be fixed so they won't get to town. Come on there, bless you. Get on there. There's a grove of trees where I told the fellas to meet me. You just better be there. Or I'll have something to say to them that'll blister their hides. Get on there. Yeah, this ought to be just about it. So blessed dark, I can't hardly see a thing. Oh, there. Oh, oh. Yeah. Red. Hey, Red. Are you here? That you, Joe? Who else do you think it'd be? Where are you? Just a second. Come on, fellas. Oh, I was beginning to think you was going to stay there all night. Oh, got away as soon as I could. How about the ranch? Everything's set? <laughs> you won't have no trouble at all. Most of the hands are in town, and what's left you can take care of easy. Pete said they was in the bunkhouse. Mm. Your brother don't suspect nothing, does he? Him? <laughs> that fool don't know enough to suspect anything. Well, ain't no use standing here talking. I'll get back to town so nobody will suspicion me and you'll get started. Hold on a minute. Yeah. I happen to know a few things, too. One of them is that Pete's got cash hid away somewhere. What if he has? You got any objections to our getting a hold of it for part of our pay? You'll do no such thing. In the first place, you don't keep it hid in the house. If you go to looking for it, you waste too much time. <laughs> we could sort of persuade one of them to talk. Nope. Forget about that cash. After you've finished them off, the ranch will come to me. Then you'll get every cent I promised you. 
And if that ain't enough to satisfy you, say so now. Oh, well, we ain't kicking. Then get on about your business. I'll stay in town long enough for an alibi and meet you over to the old cabin to hear how you come out. That understood? That old line cabin, you mean? The same. We'll be there. You better be. Well, I'm heading for town. Get up there. Come on, get up there. Half an hour later, as the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced through the night, they saw a red glare in the sky to the west. Oh, 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 oh. What? What matter? Look, Tonto, in the distance. Oh, there, fire. It can't be a signal fire. It's too big for that. Go under. Maybe house burn. It must be. That's just about where the buildings of the Barnes Ranch should be. Ah. Come on, Tonto. We won't go to town yet. We'll cut across country and see if we can't help. I'll get get the scout. Away! The masked man and his faithful Indian companion urged their horses to their greatest speed. But swiftly as the two men rode, the fire had almost completed its work when they drew near the ranch house. The place seems deserted, Tonto. Uh, I don't understand why the people who live here wouldn't stay to keep the fire from spreading to the other buildings. Not plenty strange. Oh, oh, there's a oh, 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 oh. We'll take a look around, Tonto. I'm afraid we're too late to save anything from the ranch house. You, you look. What is it? There, Mark, many horse. Those hoof prints were made recently. I wonder why those riders left. Mister! Oh, mister! There, boy! Well, the corral. Maybe he can tell us what happened. Uh, there and come. Oh, please, mister. Get my mother back. It's... You... You're mad. It's all right, son. Tonto and I are not outlaws. Here, now. See if you can't tell us what's happened. Ethan, even if you are, you... You ain't one of them that killed Paul. Your father was killed? <laughs> come now, if you cry, you won't be able to tell us about it. If that happens, then we can't help you. I, I'll try not to cry, mister. Paul, Paul used to say it was only woman folks crying. What's your name? Dave, Davey Barnes. Pete Barnes, son? Uh-huh. Tonto, it was Pete Barnes, the owner of this ranch that was killed. Uh -huh. Dave, who did it? I never seen him before, mister. They, they just rode up to the house, run off the hands and... Killed Paul without giving him a chance. And what happened to your mother? They they tried to get her to tell where Paul is his cash, but but she wouldn't do it. But where is she now? They they said they was gonna make her talk. And then then they heard you call into your house and they rode off. They they took her along. Oh please, Mister, get her back, won't you? You just got to. We certainly will, Dave. Did they try to harm you? She made me run and hide when the trouble started. But why did they set fire to the house? Ma tried to get away from them and bumped the table with the lamp. I see. Hello. It must have been the hoof prints left by the outlaws we noticed. What's that? Maybe it posse. The fire was probably seen in town. Perhaps one of Pete Barnes' men got there and reported what happened. Uh. If that's the case, they'll shoot first and ask questions afterward. Here, Silver. Here, Scout. The child's safe, and we haven't time to explain ourselves. Yep. Come on, Tonto. We're following those outlaws to the hills. Uh, be ready. I'll save them up. Away. Sheriff and the men who rode with him soon found that their mounts were no match for those of the masked man and Tonto. And finally, they turned back to the ranch house. We see them as they draw their horses to a halt by the smoldering remains. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh, you. Them cooks sure ruined your brother's face, and no mistake. And I'll bet my saddle I know who done it. Here, you, you do? This looks like the work of Red Purvis and them pesky mavericks that travel with him. If I ever get them where I can. Joe, there's the young one, Davy. Who will I'll be? Davy, come here. Sheriff, them fellas you saw leave here didn't do this. Huh? Wasn't they one of Red Purvis's gang? I, I don't know about that, Sheriff. But if, if it hadn't been for them, I'd have been killed too. Tarnation. <laughs> and we almost drilled the wrong fellas. 
Say, Joe, what's ailing you? You look as if you'd seen a ghost. It's nothing, Sheriff. I, well, I reckon I was kind of surprised seeing the boy was still alive. Yeah? You know yourself, Sheriff, when Zeke rode into town telling about the raid, he said that it looked like them outlaws aimed to kill off everybody in the ranch house. Mm, it's too bad Zeke and Clem were the only punchers here. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Sheriff. Huh? What is it, Bub? Those, those men took Ma away with them. What's that? She's alive, too? He tried to make her tell where Paul's cash was. Why, the double-crossing... What'd you say, Joe? Uh, why, I was just saying the dirty <laughs> skunks ought to be hung for a trick like that. Hmm, I'm just wondering what we're going to do with Davy. Don't take me away, Sheriff. Shucks, you can't stay here the way things are. Uh, Davy, you'll come home with me. But... Of course but you don't... will. I'm your uncle, ain't I? But I don't want to go. Now, Davy, I reckon Joe's got the right of it. Your pa being dead and your ma gone... It's your uncle's place to look after you. Oh, all right. Give me your hand, Davy. I'll help you into the saddle. Up with it. There you are. Well, Sheriff, what do you think we ought to do now? Go back to town. That's all we can do. But by heaven, the cooks that did this is going to pay and pay plenty. All right, men. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Get up. In the meantime, Tonto and the Lone Ranger followed the outlaws. Their trail was an open book to the keen-eyed Indian. Hurry, old fellow. Tonto, I don't think we can be more than ten minutes behind them now. Uh, the main thing is to rescue Dave's mother. When she's safe, we can try to capture the outlaws. Oh, we get them. Come on, Silver. We'll... <laughs> What's the matter, Silver? Silver, go on, Tonto. Silver wouldn't have stopped. Tonto, look. Uh, there, heap big drop. It's a break in the plateau. Silver saw it before we did. Come on, old boy. We get close and have a look at it. That's close enough, old fellow. Look below, Tano. You can't see the bottom. That must be a drop of at least a thousand feet. All right, plenty deep. Have we lost the outlaw's trail? Them come this way. But how could they have crossed? No horse could make that jump. <laughs> Let's have a look, Kimasami. Stay there, Silver. Uh, that how them cross. Do you see something? Yeah. You look there. There was a small bridge here. Yes. You can see where the timber supported it on this side. Huh. They knew about this bridge, Tonto. They chose this trail for that reason. And when they crossed the bridge, they must have chopped the supports away on the other side. Yes, and with those supports chopped away, the timbers on this side were too weak to hold the bridge and it fell below. Isn't that right? Well, we've got to find some way to follow. A woman screaming. Maybe them hurt her. The outlaws have stopped in those woods. I believe they can't be followed further. Again, quick, get your rope. Uh, me get it. What do you do? You see that stump across the way directly opposite? Uh-huh. Me see it. We'll rope that stump. Pull the rope tight. And fasten to the tree right here. And I'll cross the rope hand over hand. Oh, that's plenty dangerous. You fall, you get killed. We'll have to chance it. Do you hear that? Hurry, Tato, hurry! All right, I'll ask you once more. Where did Pete hide his cash? I won't tell you, I won't. Am I just as well, ma'am? You ain't gonna live long enough to spend any of it anyhow. Oh, you'll kill me whether I tell you or not. Red, she's the stubbornest critter I ever seen. Maybe we ought to keep on going for a spell before we ask her again. What for? There's nobody can get across the gap. We're safe enough. And before I'm through, she's gonna talk and talk plenty. Now, look here. There's a chance, just a chance, mind you, that if you tell us what we aim to know, we'll let you go. I don't care what you do. I've got nothing to say. Why, you are... <laughs> That wasn't one of our horses. We've been following. Come on, let's see who it is. Anyways, he can't There's get a fellow hanging by his hands from a rope. He's coming to this side. He sure got nerves. Get your knives. Cut that rope. Cut the rope and drop it to those rocks down below. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes... Please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger crossing the chasm hand over hand was discovered by the outlaws on the other side. They rushed forward to cut the rope and send the masked man plunging to his death. Hurry up and cut that rope. I got my knife here. I'll cut it. Look out! There's another fellow on the other side. He's shooting at us. Run for cover. Blast it. Cut that rope first. I ain't going to get drilled. Get back to the tree. You yellow coyote. If you aim to get drilled, cut it yourself. I can't do nothing alone. Then come on back with us. We'll drill him after he climbs up. I'm coming. I want no use for our risking ourselves out there in the open, boss. The other fellow would have got us for sure. Blast him. There he is. Climbing up. Blast that partner of his. We should have finished him. Now he's shooting. Look. And the other fellow's starting to climb across the roof. Come on, get back where the trees are thicker. Even if they do get across, we get them holed up. They can't break through us. That's right. We take cover where we're safe. Then we can pick them off any time we get ready. That's good sense. Yeah, here, this is good enough. The second hombre's almost across. <laughs> That's just fine. But when they're both on this side, I got a notion they'll wish they'd stayed where it was healthy. I'll see if I can't hit one of them. You missed. Ah, this doggone light. If the moon would only stay out behind them clouds, I could aim better. Now they're both across. <laughs> Look where they're going. They're running for them rocks. Pick them off. Ah, they made it. It don't matter. We can wait them up. Well, I'll be. What's wrong, boss? Look. Back by, back by the horses there. Ah, I don't see nothing. That's just it, you fool. The woman. She cleared out. Didn't nobody have sense enough to watch her? Where'd she get to? I can I can tell you. Huh? She sneaked away and circled around. And right now, she's behind them rocks with the pole cats that followed us. Leap on the Well, anyway, we know where the three of them are. Now let them try and get out of that spot alive. Mrs. Barnes. I, I will. Tell them we're in a bad place. Uh, plenty bad. They've only these rocks to protect us. We can't retreat because of that chasm. And it'd be suicide to attempt to go ahead on foot. Mm. We're badly outnumbered. And our ammunition is limited. If they wish, they can wait until our bullets are gone, then rush us. Or simply sit back and starve us out. Mm, that's right. You got a plan? If it wasn't for Mrs. Barnes, I'd suggest attacking and taking our chances. Uh. Please, please don't think of me. Do what you think is best. No, Mrs. Barnes. We'll all escape, or none of us will escape. But... That silver. Look at him, Santo. He knows we're in trouble, and he wants to help. Ah, uh, him pine horse. But there's nothing he can... Him, him back up? He's going to try to jump across. He'll never make it, Santo. No, Silver. Stay back. You hear me, Silver? Stay back. Him come anyhow. He's running. No horse can make a jump like that. It, it just isn't look, possible. Look, look. If, if he falls. Santo, he made it. Ah. Good old fella. Here, Silver. Here, old boy. Ah, him. He fine horse. I wouldn't have thought it possible unless I'd seen it with my own eyes. Silver's the finest horse in the world, Mrs. Barnes. Aren't you, old fellow? Now, what do you do? Silver's given us a chance, Kimasabi. But we'll have to act fast. Uh -huh. You think you could ride Silver through those outlaws? Uh -huh. But you not stay here. Yes, I don't believe it's best. Silver could carry the three of us. But I don't want to have a woman run the risk of being shot. But I told you... Wait, Mrs. Barnes. I have a plan that'll work. Get mounted, Tano. Uh -huh. Be ready. As soon as the moon goes under a cloud again, we'll show those men something they don't expect. to the Mississippi and never find another horse that can make a jump like that one just did. Stand to one side, boss. I'll put a bullet in it. Well, uh, you put that gun down. But, boss... You drill that horse and I'll drill you. That's the finest horse flesh i ever seen. I'm saving it for myself. Huh? You heard me, didn't you? You mean you're going to take that horse? You just bet I am. When we finish them two fellas and a woman off, I'm going to have me a real horse. Well, I can't blame you none for wanting it. If you're set on shooting something, Lefty, try to draw a bead on them two-footed critters. It's getting too dark again to see, good boss. The clouds are beginning to cover up the moon. Well, we'll get them in the morning, anyhow. Uh -huh. And then we'll see... Get them They're making a break for it. Drill them! Come on! He's coming right at me! Watch out! It's a redskin. He's alone! He'll trample it! Out of my way! Get him up! Silver! He got through! I'll fix him! You can't hit nothing going at that speed. You blasted doggone fools. You let my horse get away. He wants your horse. Just as good as... My horse. Horse? Huh? Where's the other two? The first fella to climb across the rope and the woman. Why didn't they ride out? Hmm, that's funny. Maybe they were shot and we never knew it. Why, gosh, I bet they was. They wouldn't have stayed behind if they wasn't. We'll go see. Come on, fellas. Keep your guns handy, and if you're fired at, take the cover. You just bet we will. And if you sight them first, shoot the kill. Funny they don't do something. Careful. Maybe it's just a trick. They're gone. No. If you don't believe me, look for yourself. Well, of all the... Now, what could have happened to them? I got it. Huh? Look at where they was, boss. 
They could have crawled from here back to that rope without our seeing them. Well, what about it? Just look at the rope. Rope? No. You see what happened, boss? He tried to carry the woman back across, and the rope broke with a double weight. Yes, so. They probably figured the engine would draw our fire while he was getting away. But they never made it. That means they're all smashed to pieces on them rocks below. They must be. <laughs> Good enough. That's two of them accounted for. And the engine, he don't matter. Nobody around here would believe anything a redskin said anyhow. Just the same, I wish he hadn't got away. Well, it couldn't be helped. Let's get to our horses. We still got to meet Joe and tell him how we come out. Oh, come on, boys. Red Purvis and his followers mounted and rode to the cabin where they agreed to meet Joe Barnes. When they arrived, they found Joe waiting for them. You double-crossing polecats. Get in here. I've been waiting to say a few things to you fellas. Now, look here. We've done the best we could, Joe. Yeah? Well, first off, you let the young get away from you. I told you to clean out the whole family. But I told Shut you... Shut up we... and listen. And on top of that, you figured on disobeying orders. When I told you to forget about the cash Pete had hid away, I meant it. There were no harm in trying to make the woman talk, was there? Where is she now? Chuck, she's done for it, Joe. Right now, she's smashed up on them rocks back in the hills. You sure of that? Well, yeah, I... So he ain't, eh? She must be, Joe. Anyhow, we'll make sure in the morning. I'll send Squint back to have a look. Sure. And how about the kid? You know why I wanted them all killed. Pete had the richest spread around these parts. But as long as there's just one of his family living, I can't claim it. The reason we didn't get him, Joe, is the fellas was riding towards the ranch house. We had to run for it. But we can still fix him somehow. Never mind that. I'll take care of him. Yeah? He's at my house in town right now. I know what I'm going to do. But if everything works out all right, it won't be the fault of you, fellas. You made more mistakes tonight than I made in my whole life. <laughs> Good work, Tonto, but you've been in the saddle for hours. You've had to ride around the gap to get your horse, then back again to us. Time you returned to camp and rested. No, Tonto not tired. Me here, outlaw scheme. You did? Huh? Me follow him to old cabin. Tonto tell you when we ride. Me want help get outlaw. Yep. Very well, then. Keep us happy. Yep, you come, Mrs. Barnes. All right? Yes, sir. Come on, Scout. Get him up, Scout. You've got to believe me, Sheriff. Gosh, I don't see no reason why you'd lie to me. But it still don't seem possible. I'll prove everything I've said. And Pete's wife is outside there? She is. Well, where's Joe Barnes? Why, just about a half an hour ago, I seen him ride by going towards his place. A half hour ago? And there's no time to waste, Sheriff. Dave's life is in danger this very minute. You tired yet, Davy? Uh, I don't want to sleep, Uncle Joe. I just can't sleep. Sure, I savvy how you feel. But I got something here that'll make you rest. Then tomorrow you can get up again and give us some help in finding your maw. What's that drink, Dirk Gibson? It's what I said would help you get to sleep. There. It's all ready and it won't harm you a mite. Do I have to drink it? <laughs> Shucks, I know what's best for you and what ain't. Now you drink this down, and in no time at all, you'll be dozing off. <laughs> yes, sir, you'll be ready for a good, long sleep. Give me it, Uncle Joe. Sure. Now you just take it. What the? What? Why, it's the same mess, fella. Come on in, Cheryl. I'm right with you, stranger. What's the meaning of this? Give you... me that. Here, let go of that glass. I got you covered, Joe. You do like the masked fella tells you. Now, look I'll here. I'll take I... it. Now, what's in this glass? It's nothing, mister. Just something Uncle Joe was fixing so as I'd be able to go to bed and sleep. Is that all it is, Joe? Why, why sure. What else would it be? And I think you need it worse than Dave does. Let's see you drink it. But, but I don't need drink it. Drink it anyhow. No, I won't. 
Here, what right he got to say that I got to do anything? I told you once to do like he says, Joe, and I weren't fooling. But wait, listen, Cut I... Cut up. Uh, Hold him, and we'll pour it down his throat. Uh, don't do, don't oh, do that. No, you drink. can't do that to me. Drink. Get away, let me drink. alone. Don't drink it. Sheriff, stop him. They're trying to bind me. You can't let him do that. Bind me, eh? Well, you got it coming. Go ahead, stranger. No, no, please, let me go. I, I think don't... that's enough evidence, Sheriff. He's admitted that he was going to poison the boy. Poison me? Yes, Dave. There's nothing to worry about now. <laughs> How'd you know I... Donna heard you telling your plans to your friends at the cabin, Joe. He, he couldn't have. Red didn't tell you about the Indian who escaped him. And he didn't know that when Tonto rode away, Mrs. Barnes and I took advantage of your friend's confusion to hide ourselves in a tree. We'd fixed the rope to make it look as though we'd fallen to the rocks at the bottom of the cliff. They're fools. And Red and his men went to the cabin to meet you. Tonto followed them to see what they would do. Then he met me afterwards and told me your plans. Blasted Redskin. And right at this minute, Joe, I got all my deputies headed for that same cabin. And you and your outlaw friends can talk it over in jail together. Jail? Mm-hmm. And that'll be for just a short while before you're hung. But, but what happened to my ma? Didn't the masked men find her? <laughs> Shucks, Davy. We've been saving that for the last. Suppose you take a walk to the door and see if maybe she ain't outside on the porch. I wouldn't say for sure. I ain't one to make statements I gotta tie to. But it wouldn't surprise me none if that's where you'd find her. Come on, silver old fellow. We're heading for the Indian country in the hills. Hello, silver. How are The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated.